This is my hometown of Unionville, Connecticut. Now Unionville is a part of Farmington, which is probably best known for where 50 Cent lives. And Unionville is a really interesting little village because it used to be a mill town. So you can still see all the mill buildings around and some of them are still abandoned, but a lot of them have been repurposed for studio apartments or uh, coffee shops, tea shops, my tailor is in one. And it makes sense geographically because if you look at Unionville, the Farmington River flows right through it. So back in the day, they used to use water power before there was electricity. It seems like we make less and less in America today, and that brings me to the subject of today's video. The Cone Mills White Oak Denim Plant has shut down as of December 31st, 2017, which means that there is no longer any United States made denim. If you were ever interested in getting yourself 100% made in the USA denim, jeans, jacket, anything, well, this may be your last year to do so. And now, unfortunately, Greensboro, North Carolina is only known as the town that used to make America's denim. So in Greensboro and Unionville and lots of towns across America, unfortunately, these old mills are just standing as relics, as monuments to a time when America used to make stuff. It just seems like it's getting harder and harder to find things that are made in America. And as a US citizen, that's important to me, to be able to support local jobs and to support the local economy and not outsource everything. So I'm gonna go a little bit into the history of Cone Mills, specifically the White Oak Denim Mill Plant, because it's a pretty interesting story. They were a very innovative company and it's really a shame to see the thing shut down. And over 200 people are losing their jobs. They got pink slips as of the first of the year, 2018. And it's just a sad story. So I wanna kinda of go into it a little bit more so you understand why this is important, why you may wanna get your hands on some of this denim before it's all gone because they're probably not gonna make it again. And uh, a question, unfortunately, what is the future of American textiles and American manufacturing? Will it ever come back? So let's start in the beginning. Cone Mills began in the late 1800s, but 1905 is when they opened up their White Oak plant. And by 1908, it was the world's largest producer of denim. They've produced denim for Levi Strauss since 1915. At its peak, White Oak used to be the largest denim plant in the world at 1.6 million square feet and employed over 2,500 people. One of my favorite stories from the White Oak plant is in 1969, there was heavy rains that flooded a part of the warehouse and it actually soaked over 3 million yards of denim. Now, rather than just chalk it up to a loss and get rid of over 3 million yards of denim, the employees washed it in a chemical solution and rebranded it, marketed it as their Pinto wash. And this was actually the birth of bleached jeans. I'm not a big fan of bleached jeans, but that's where it came from. Pretty cool, huh? Sadly, in 2003, they filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection and became part of the International Textiles Group. Later on in 2016, Cone Mills was bought by California-based Platinum Equity, who decided that 2017 was going to be the last year for Cone Mills. They closed on December 31st, 2017, and thus marks the end of the American Denim Mill. Now, what made white oak denim so great is they used these old Draper fly shuttle looms, which created a surface and a texture that was very, very unique to that piece of equipment. And I asked, I actually emailed White Oak to see what was gonna happen to these old Draper fly shuttle looms to see if somebody was gonna buy them. And my fear is that unfortunately they'll probably get bought up and sent overseas. Now, as soon as I heard about the White Oak mill closing down, I immediately went online to see what I could find made out of this soon to be extinct American textile. And of course, one of the first places that I went to was Gustin, an American company who offers a just a tremendous value in jeans. You really get a lot for what you pay for. And I picked up their number 77 Cone Mills in gray. Now, what I like about this pair of jeans, aside from the fact that it's made out of the extinct white oak denim, is that this is a kind of a unique color combination. So what it is, is a dark charcoal warp with a natural weft. So as this wears in and as it starts to fade, instead of a stark white coming out, it will be sort of a dusty tan and it'll actually really kind of look cool once it's broken in a little bit. I can't wait to show it to you. These have just a moderate amount of slub to them. And as you can see, the surface is brushed to be nice and soft. 
and it's right in the middle of weight at 13.25 ounces. So this is a great all around pair of denim and unfortunately it will be one of the last that you'll see bearing the white oak label. I'm sorry guys, I don't mean to get too heavy on you, but I would really like to hear your thoughts on this whole thing. Please let me know in the comments below. My next video will be much more upbeat, I promise you that. This is definitely the exception and not the rule going forward. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.